Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. If you're new here, please do feel welcome. If you're one of my returning viewers, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, on today's video, I am sharing with you some of the things that I do around my kitchen, especially um, to counter uh, food wastage and also to uh, continue maintaining uh, the idea and the practice of being uh, eco-friendly. Uh, I will be making uh, banana bread, I will be doing um, juicing, uh, orange juicing with my uh, slow juicer and I will also be uh, preparing some breadcrumbs out of the old um, leftover bread. So these are the little things that uh, may look simple, but uh, believe you when I tell you it is good to just use anything that is spare extra rather than throwing it out, but making sure that you can be able to reuse it and that way you are not throwing things out unnecessarily and you can be able to be uh, use your save a little bit of money here and there and also uh, be environmental friendly. So I will be showing what I am going to be doing in a minute. So guys, I'll be showing you uh, some of the things that I do to just reduce uh, food, food wastage uh, around my house and also to ensure that I continue to be eco-friendly. Eco uh, because I will be doing the juicing, what I've done, I've already peeled the oranges and the grapefruit and this is going to go to the compost. We have uh, a compost um, tin in the house where we throw up all the pills. These ones, we usually have a big compost uh, pit outside where we uh, put all the compost um, from food um, pills. Uh, Eggshells are also very important. We also use them for the uh, natural compost that we make for our gardens. So these are the uh, oranges and the grapefruit that I have peeled out and I will be uh, making the uh, natural orange uh, fresh uh, juice. Uh, the other thing that I will be doing is also um, as part of uh, reducing uh, food wastage is when the bread is dried out we usually rather than throw it out uh, we completely dry it out and then we make uh, breadcrumbs out of it so important thing to do you do not have to throw things out you can always re re reuse them repurpose them uh, and make sure that way you are not uh, throwing things out unnecessarily the other things I'm, I'm going to be doing is also making uh, banana bread these are very ripe bananas uh, the peels will be going to the compost that's a good thing and also I will be making two uh, uh, banana breads that will last us for a week as a family and that's how uh, when we have bought uh, bananas to eat throughout the week when we have the leftovers rather than feeling that it's something that we uh, are forced to either it's either too quickly or uh, feel that they are going almost bad uh, can be thrown out rather than that we make the banana bread and we also do uh, ensure that the pills are put in the compost guys there are remarkable ways uh, of looking at everything that you use around the house and for me I like my kitchen to be an eco-friendly kitchen so that we have reduced the food wastage we reuse we repurpose the things that we have so in that case uh, money is spent well and also resources are stretched as far as we can without any wastage so i will crack on and i will be doing the banana uh, bread first i will have already uh, prepared much of the things the only thing that is left is to peel the uh, the bananas and then i will uh, warm up the butter and then I can mix all my ingredients together 
and put my two banana uh, mix into the oven and then we'll crack on with the next uh, thing which is to prepare the breadcrumbs. Best thing that the best banana bread is is done when the bananas are actually very very ripe, almost going bad. So uh, you want to make your banana bread when the bananas are almost tanned, almost this color. You do not want to have just very uh, yellow bananas. You want the skin almost going black uh, before you actually do end up with a good uh, banana bread so I am making uh, this one is almost going bad so I will partially uh, only use partial bit of it but uh, it's not daunting for me And just because you do not want uh, the banana to turn color, I usually use uh, lemon juice so that I keep the color still uh, the right color for the bananas. Uh, if you want to know how to make a banana uh, a banana bread, I have the recipe in one of my previous. Uh, videos which if you scroll through the videos I've posted I think the banana bread I made a little over a year ago so you can look for the recipe up there So all the bananas are nice and ready, beaten. I have the flour is uh, 500 grams and 500 uh, grams uh, self-raising flour, uh, six bananas, ripe bananas, and also I've put uh, custard sugar, 150 grams plus uh, uh, one and a half uh, teaspoons of uh, self-raising uh, uh, baking powder and these are five eggs uh, I will also be putting almonds and the things that I will be mixing here at the moment is I will pour in the bananas and then uh, I will pour in melted butter and then I will mix them up into uh, a butter this is a very simple way of making a banana bread really very very simple recipe and I need to put my eggs in And mix up all the wet uh, together with the flour So the last thing I put in is uh, the nuts. You can put whatever nuts you want. Uh, these are pecans, 
I usually put pecans and walnuts, but I don't have uh, walnuts at the moment. So this is what I'm going to put and I'm going to put it straight away, uh, lay it into the uh, tins and then I will put in the oven, um, fan assisted oven for uh, at 160 uh, degrees centigrade for about one hour so my uh, cake mixture is ready and ready to be put into the oven and then I will show you when it finishes so with that finished I will proceed to prepare the breadcrumbs with the dried out bread always make sure that your bread is completely completely dried out uh, before you actually make the breadcrumbs This one is not completely dry.
you go. This is my homemade uh, breadcrumbs. So after doing my breadcrumbs, while I am waiting for my banana bread to be uh, baked, I will be uh, doing the slow juicing. It is a very simple process. It doesn't take too long. Um, it just peeling can take about 10 minutes and then juicing doesn't take too long as well, as you can see. And then after the only bits that takes a little bit of time is just to clean up the uh, slow juicer and that's about it you will have uh, freshly squeezed uh, juice and whatever is left over is something you can also use for your compost so as i said this uh, all in all is a process where i am showing you how i uh, try to uh, maintain an eco uh, friendly uh, house uh, reducing waste and making sure that whatever uh, is produced in my house it is used to the maximum capacity plus and the wastage that comes out of it it's also being used uh, on the land that way you are giving back to the environment rather than actually destroying the environment So guys, as I've said, uh, these are three things that I've done uh, around the house. I have used, I will be using the pills. I will be using the leftovers from the juicing. I will be using the eggs that I, uh, uh, eggshells that I uh, used for baking, as well as the banana pills. All this will go into the natural compost. And uh, yeah, there is always things uh, and ways out there that you can ensure that you are environmentally friendly, you are eco-friendly uh, eco and continue to help uh, our planet and our, our earth to continue to repair the damages that have been caused over the years. Uh, so guys, my banana bread is all nice and ready. Uh, it's on the racking, just waiting to cool down. Uh, I usually like to keep it overnight so when we are having it in the morning it is quite moist and it has uh, settled in. I don't like it when it's uh, just freshly uh, baked. And that is my breadcrumbs that I made earlier and those are uh, my juice um, jars which I will put in the fridge to cool them down and then we will be having them together with our evening dinner so guys if you enjoyed this video please do remember uh, to leave a comment uh, give me a thumbs up um, let me know uh, how you feel about uh, some of the suggestions that I've uh, given you uh, examples and uh, even let me know what you actually do uh, around your kitchen to uh, remain uh, environmental friendly and eco-friendly and uh, yeah, give me also suggestions that I can also use around my house. So guys, thank you very much for uh, stopping by and I do hope to see you in the next one. So bye for now.